So folks, I have something glorious for you this evening. It is going to be a delicious treat. So sit down, grab a beverage, grab a snack, maybe watch over dinner because we are going to enjoy nearly 10 minutes plus of old Donnie and other MAGA goons being utterly roasted by a series of super cuts and hilarious ads from the Lincoln Project and from other sources, including a mainstream media source that just put together an absolutely brilliant supercut of Trump's goons going down. Because make no mistake, all of this is really about the collapse of MAGA, right? You know, the, the fact of the matter is most Republicans are MAGA Republicans, not all, but most. And so when you're talking about Trump, we have to remember that it's not just about him. It's not to say we should ignore him or pretend that he's not the biggest deal, but it is to say that if and when old Donnie goes away someday, whether he passes away, goes to prison, retires, whatever, there's still going to be people like him who try to recreate his evil. And whether they succeed or not, we don't know. But what I have for you are a series of hilarious ads ripping him apart. But the last one is critical because it rips him apart and other people, but it also highlights some positives. How despite the MAGA goons going off and off and off about their BS incessantly, President Biden is doing the best darn job he can in many ways. And that is important. My name's George Santos. I'm from New York City. So let me tell you a quick story. I put myself through college and got an MBA from NYU. That he was a star on the Baruch volleyball team. I didn't outright lie. We lost four employees that were, that were at Pulse nightclub. My mom was a 9-11 survivor. My grandparents survived the Holocaust. I'm Jew-ish. <laughs> I've lived an honest life. Santos helped him raise $3,000 for his dying dog through his pet charity, but Ostoff says he never got the money and his dog died six months later. Nothing in the life is free. He defrauded a shop clerk out of $1,300 worth of clothing and shoes. Oh my God, George Santos stole money. George Santos bought designer clothes. That's what I buy. He once claimed to be one of the first people in the United States to be diagnosed with COVID-19. Santos told supporters that he was a producer on the short-lived Broadway production Spider-Man. Turn off the dark. Did I embellish my resume? Yes, I did. The openly gay New York congressman used to perform in drag back in the day. Sue me for having a life. Santos performed in drag several times over at least three years. One of his aides impersonated McCarthy's top aide. Respect George Santos. Excuse me. 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 Excuse me.
in the Bronx. I actually went to school on a, on a volleyball scholarship. But I put myself through college and got an MBA from NYU. When I was in Baruch, we were the number one volleyball Did you graduate? Team. But I also founded my own nonprofit organization. I sacrificed both my knees and got very nice knee replacements, uh, knee replacements oh, from wow. HSS. Playing volleyball. It was in summer of 2021 on Fifth Avenue and 55th. I was robbed by two men. I've lived an honest life. I've never been uh, accused, sued, of, of any bad doing. Good morning. Shabbat shalom to everybody. My company at the time, we lost four employees that were, that were at Pulse nightclub. Mm. She was in the South Tower, um, and she made it out. She got caught up in the Ash Club. Did I embellish my resume? Yes, I did. And I'm sorry. But where, where was the, what was the source of your funds, sir? What was the source of that money? Mr. Santos, you listed the wrong name of a treasurer. Why did you list the wrong name of your treasurer on your campaign finance forms? I'll have a conversation with you when you become a better honest reporter. I'm asking you directly. You're honest a... reporter and you know that. Sapphire, she's, she's really probably pretty happy about this, too. This poor little girl, she suffered the last three or four months of her life because he stole money from me and from her. He needs to be in jail, and that's where he's headed. Uh, I just saw all the things that he spent money on, um, all those clothes, Botox, Sephora. I wonder what he spent Sapphire's money on. Probably some makeup, uh, probably a stupid pair of red shoes. Is it true that you have an OnlyFans page and you can peel a banana with your feet? I don't have one, and it's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll indulge you this. I just discovered what OnlyFans was about three weeks ago when it was brought up in a discussion in my office. <laughs> uh, I just can't tell the truth. Nobody tells me to do own. anything. I've made a decision on my own, and I thought that's represented in the interest of the person. I'm a boring nerd, dork, whatever you want to call me. It's staying quiet. I mean, Mitt Romney, the man goes to the State of the Union of the United States wearing a Ukraine lapel pin, tells me, a Latino gay man, that I shouldn't sit in the front, that I should be in the back. Well, guess what? Rosa Parks didn't sit in the back, and neither am I going to sit in the back. Oh, I was not a drag queen in Brazil, guys. I was young and I had fun at a festival. Sue me for having a life. They all act like they are on ivory towers with white pointy hats and they're untouchable. I mean, within the ranks of the United States Congress, there's felons galore. There's people with all sorts of shysty backgrounds. And all of a sudden, George Santos is the Mary Magdalene of United States Congress. Is, is this DA going to start criminalizing Indiant criminals? How, how do you know what Where's you Hunter Biden's about? indictment? Two years Stop of a laptop no. full of treasure trove of crime. Well, what about you? I'm not running for re-election, not because this was a damning report. I'm not running for re-election because I don't want to work with a bunch of hypocrites. It's gross. I have co uh, colleagues who are more worried about getting drunk every night with the next lobbyist that they're going to screw and pretend like none of us know what's going on and sell off the American people, not show up to vote because they're too hungover or whatever the reason is. Stop this. One of my staffers, baby. Look at this baby, Mr. Speaker. Congressman Santos, what are you doing to stop the ongoing genocide of Palestinians? Excuse me, do not record this baby. What are you do doing? We won't record the baby. Yeah, what you are you are. doing to stop the ongoing genocide of civilians in You're Palestine? In what are you doing to stop the ongoing kill? Yes, and many children are dying in Palestine. And the next time he tries to accost me with a child in my hand, I want him out of here. He's an animal. I am holding a child. He is a the gentleman back there is a terrorist sympathizer that has no business in this building. What is happening in Israel is abhorrent. What is happening to the people of Israel should not be defended. Nobody defending Hamas has any business in this building, whether you're elected, whether you're a civilian. It is a disgrace that we allow people to parade that kind of thought in here. That was a lot. There hasn't been a positive thing happen in this administration since it came about. Now, Teddy Roosevelt had the square deal. FDR had the new deal. Truman had the fair deal. What President Biden, Democrats, all of us have accomplished in the last few years is a big deal. Results matter. 
Inflation now is down to 3.2%. Wages are up to 4.4%. The economy is booming 5.2% GDP growth in the last quarter. With the gallon of gas now at the lowest Thanksgiving price since 2020, uh, prices for gasoline down nine straight weeks. By so many measures, the economy is in good shape. Unemployment near 50-year lows. Wages going up. The economy, it is growing. Inflation, it is slowing. Because of the Chips and Science Act, one of the most significant economic plans right. since FDR, I'm proud of the work Biden and Harris have done. President Biden and his team um, worked 24-7 uh, with partners in the region uh, to make sure that this release uh, was possible. This is a president who um, is right now showing the American people what real leadership looks like. It's amazing how many times in his career Joe Biden has been counted out only to come back and prove the critics wrong.